Welcome to It's All Been Done Radio Hour, a live monthly scripted comedy show performed at Mad Lab Theater in Columbus, Ohio. We'd like to thank Mad Lab Theater for being such a generous host site. We'd also like to thank Pack Rat Comics in Hilliard, Ohio, our original venue where this episode was recorded. To support us, please go to our website. There is a support us page with lots of information, including a link to Amazon where we'll get a commission from your purchases, which would really help fund the show, including money we've already spent on equipment and marketing. Um, it would also on there have a link to audibletrial.com slash IABD radio hour. If you go there, you can sign up for a free 30 day trial of the audiobook service, which is a pretty cool service with over 250,000 titles to choose from. You can also buy uh, buttons for our show with our logo, um, some signed scripts, signed programs, that sort of thing. Anything uh, that we offer for sale will be offered there. Please like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and if you could rate and review us on iTunes, that is also appreciated. And now, without further ado, it's All Been Done Radio Hour. This is Universe Journey. It's now 2425. Humanity has left our planet for the first time, seeking out new races and places. The intrepid crew of the starship ASS Thrifty boldly go where a few people have gone before. First, there's Captain Kakei, the commander of the crew. I am in charge. <laughs> so you believe. With him, the new ship's new executive officer, Commander Richards. I am very happy to come aboard. To their left, the science officer, Lieutenant Commander Meow Meow. I am not evil. Well, again, no one accused you of that. And of course, Chief Engineer Foley is here. <laughs> oh, sorry. Along with the security chief, Who Grappa. Me, who? And Dr. Oshucks. I am sober. Oh, sort of. Wonderful. Lastly, but certainly not least, the beautiful Lieutenant Takalati. I am really getting sick and tired of the way. Uh, take it away, Kake. Space, I am in you. We travel far beyond the stars, from Pluto all the way to Mars, and beyond, for we go much, much, much further, with lots of enthusiastic fervor, our mission is never Tonight's episode, March to War, Part 1, The Barren World. We join the ASS Thrifty and her crew on the bridge during a fairly typical day. And that's how I slept my way through the entire cheerleading squad of the Amakrai Alpha 3 All-Star Team. Except for those two girls who were icky. Wow. You do have a way with the lasso, sir. I think it's disgusting. Oh, I'm sorry. What was that, Lieutenant Tokolati? I am sorry, Captain, but... Wait, no, I'm not sorry. I do not approve of the cavalier way in which you talk about your sexual conquests. It's disrespectful to the women you've slept with, and I'm sure they would not appreciate hearing your stories any more than we do. Hmm. I wish you would go back to the less talking thing. Come on, Dr. Oshucks. As a woman, surely you must agree. Don't drag me into this. I'm just up here because Kake keeps the good schnapps on the bridge. Yes, and don't you think you've had enough for one day, Doctor? You've had enough for one day. I must agree with Lieutenant Tokolati, sir. I, too, am uncomfortable when you degrade females in this manner. Plus, ASS Regulation 011.78A. 
firmly prohibits <laughs> Firm. gender discrimination and sexual harassment of any kind. Does everyone feel this way? Yeah. My wow just then was not complimentary. I can't believe I'm your exo. I'm seriously considering putting in for a transfer. Tell me, do you enjoy being alive? What? Of course I do. Well then, you may want to put in for that transfer immediately. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, ignore him, Richards. Uh, Foley, surely you aren't as thin-skinned as these whiners? I'm afraid I can't disagree with them, Captain. I mean, I like you, you know. You're a charmer. A hell of a charmer. And I could listen to you speak for hours. But I'd prefer the subject matter of we less derogatory. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I mean, does this make me a... a sexist? Say it isn't so, because I love women. I would never intentionally do anything to offend them and make them not sleep with me. <laughs> I'm sure you wouldn't, Captain. Just, I don't think you know any better. No, you're definitely a sexist. I cannot help but to think Sir, that... Admiral Jameson is calling for you. <sighs> Again? He is so needy. Pine, fine, fine, put him through. He's not calling for you, Doctor. He's calling for Captain Kake. Oh. All right. Uh, put him up on the big screen thingy there. Kake, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Oh, you definitely are. Stop it, Richards. Uh, not much, Admiral Jameson. Uh, just the mutiny of my crew and my own sense of self coming apart at the seams. Okay, uh, good. So, I need to go to Provokensia 4. All right. Uh, what's on Provokensia 4? If I may, Captain, Provokensia 4 is a deserted world at the edge of Kaman territory. Deserted? Yes, and I know what you're thinking. No, it's not a planet filled with desserts. Damn, I really wanted cherry pie. Uh, so there's nothing there? That is correct, ca correct Captain Kake. Uh, then why do we need to go there, especially when there's no pie of any kind? The planet is in a very strategic position that could prove a vital launching ground should we ever go to war with the Come-Ons. Obviously, we're hoping to avoid that, but diplomatic relations have not been going well with them lately, and the ASS wants to ensure it's prepared if things sour further. Provokensia 4 is not yet firmly claimed by the other side, so we want to establish a presence there before they do. Got it. I won't let you down, Admiral Jameson. I'm sure that you will, but if you can avoid getting us involved in an all-out war, I'll consider it a victory. Oh, and hi, Dr. Oshucks. <coughs> hi. What have you been up to lately? Uh, drinking. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Uh, I guess that's why you haven't returned my calls. Yep. Okay, excuse me. I, I'm sorry, Admiral, but is this a starship or a dating service? All right, you are, Captain. Jameson out. God, you two are just nauseating. I am not. It is him. It's all him. I, I, I don't care. Uh, Richards, set course for Provokensia 4. Aye, aye, Captain. Now, back to the important stuff, <laughs> since we have a lot of time before we get there. Tokolati, you're the woman of the group. Set me straight. Where have I gone wrong? I don't even know where to begin. We're here, sir. W what? That was, we just, that was so quick. Yep. I admit it. I've got a bit of a left foot. I, I don't understand what that means, even in this context. It's an expression. Captain, there appears to be a come-on ship in orbit around the planet. Come on! What are they doing? Well, I believe they have just arrived, sir. Okay, well, we better get down there quick, then. Let's see. Who should go? All volunteer, sir. Thanks, Foley, but after your last encounter with the commands, I think it would be best if you stay on the ship. Oh, it was just a wee simple misunderstanding. I don't care. I'd like to go. Would be good to get off this ship and stretch my legs. You've been on board for like, what, ten minutes? It feels like so much longer. <sighs> Fine. Meow Meow, you're in charge. Yes. Richards, you're with me. And Tokolati, have who meet us in the beamer room. Aye, sir. All right, let's go. <laughs> Captain Yees. 
Long time no see. Ah, Captain Kake, the handsomest captain in the fleet. Ah, <laughs> for sure, that's me, yes. Who do you have here with you? Ah, yes, this is Commander G's, my second in command. Come on, is that really your name, G's? Yes, is there something wrong with that? No, no, uh, my apologies. It has recently come to my attention that I can be a little uh, insensitive. This is my new XO, Commander Richards. Nice to meet you. I've heard all about you and your legendary hairline, Captain Yee. Oh, 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 I thank you. It is truly magnificent. Ah, yes. yes, yes. And I'm sure you remember Lieutenant Who here, uh, my security chief. Hi. Hello, Who. Uh, nice to see you again. How have you been? Not bad. Little under weather, but feeling better. You? I'm quite good, thank you. Uh, so not that I don't enjoy pleasantries, but what brings you to this barren rock? Well, it's... I enjoy barren things. Uh, why are you here, you mismo? Yeah. I too enjoy barren things. My people prefer them, really. Come on! You, you're joking, right? No. Captain Yeez is completely sincere. We love barren things. Tuh. All right, so you want to just, um... Hang out on this barren world together? Yes. We are not leaving, so I guess that is what we will do. Well, we're not leaving either. Wonderful. Great. Terrific. Splendorifersome. That is not a word. It is now. I just made it up. Come on, you cannot make up a word. Sure I can. I'm the captain. No. Actually, Captain Kake, Captain Yeez is right. To enact a new word, you must submit a form in triplicate to the Universal Language Commission. Okay, um, enough, enough, Richards. I get it. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. So, this is fun. Come on! <laughs> Back on the ASS Thrifty. Mm. What are they doing? It looks like they're just standing there. Why on earth would they just be standing there? Who cares? Hmm. <coughs> but they are not on Earth, Chief Foley. They are on Provocentia 4. I beg your pardon, sir? Well, just now you said, and I quote, Why on earth are they just standing there? That question was inaccurate because the officers are not standing on Earth. They are on a different planet entirely. Grown. It's just an expression, meow. Yeah? I believe Lieutenant Commander Mew Mew knows that and was trying to make a joke. <laughs> you are absolutely correct, Lieutenant Okaladi. I was making a joke. Was it humorous? Well, uh... No, not at all. <laughs> Your face is humorous. <laughs> hmm. I have been studying humans for some time, but some intricacies of their language structure elude me. Perhaps I need to take what you term as an improv class and hone my skills. That's not necessary. Oi, that sounds like fun. I'll sign up with you. I will not. Well, I appreciate the gesture, Chief Foley, but I study better alone. Oh. Yeah. Uh, sure. I understand. Hmm. And I apologize again. I also struggle with your vocal tone. Is it really okay, as you humans say, or are your, mm, feelings hurt? It's grand. <laughs> His feelings are hurt. Ah. Yes, well, thank you for your honesty, Lieutenant Tokolari, and I am sorry I hurt your feelings, Chief Foley. It is all right. Does that mean we could take the class together? Then? No. <laughs> <laughs> now they, they are always funny, scaly skin. <laughs> And on the surface of Provocentia 4, things are getting just as tense. Who bored? Buck up, Lieutenant Who. It's only been a few hours. There's lots of uh, barrenness still to see. Oh boy, isn't it pretty? No. 
This is not what I signed up for. I thought we'd see strange and interesting alien worlds. This one is just empty. No one asked you, Richards. Uh, you may very well be my least favorite first officer I've had so far. You just got promoted to captain last year, didn't you? How many XOs could you possibly have had in that time? Lots. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jeez. Why don't we trek up to the higher ground over there? Excellent idea, Captain Ease. We'll go with you. I, I think we've spent enough time together for now, Captain Kake. We, uh, we'll see you soon. Come on, Yeez. I know your tricks. I'm not about to give you the high ground. Why not? What advantage does altitude give us in this situation? Oh, it's okay, Commander Jeez. If Captain Kake wants to come with us, there's literally nothing we can do about it. This planet belongs to neither of us nor the humans. This is a steep climb. Uh, well, <laughs> if it is not to your liking, you can always stay at the bottom. No, no, I mean, we're, we're still coming with you. Watch self, jeez. I gotcha. Well, thank you, Commander Richards. I almost fell down that crevice. There are a great many of them in this hillside. About that. Whoa! Who, miss? <laughs> oh, my, is your officer okay? No, could not have survived fall. She should have watched where she was going. Jeez, there just said there were crevices. Come on, Kake, have a heart. Shouldn't you retrieve her body or something while it's oh, still yeah. warm? Good, good, good point. Uh, Kake to Thrifty. Thrifty here. Lieutenant Okolati, please beam up Commander Richardson's body. Seriously, another one? <laughs> watch yourself, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Beaming her up now. Did you push? What? Did G's push Richards? No, I did no such thing. Come on, Kake, are you going to let your security chief accuse my first officer like this? G's was the one standing right next to Richards when she went down. Be honest, G's, did you give her a shove? I am most offended. A come on would never assault someone unprovoked, though your question is close to qualifying as a provocation. Are you sure? I mean, if you killed us all here, the commands would claim this planet as the road. My officer has already answered you, Captain Kake. He had nothing to do with the regrettable death of your crewmen. As I understand it, you have quite a record of losing executive officers. Now, come on, ye sure I've lost my share of crewmen and crewwomen? But no more than any other captain. Just because they usually happen to be my XO doesn't mean I'm doing something wrong. That just might be exactly what it means. Say that to my face. I, I just did. Uh, oh. <laughs> who? Hold me back. Hold me back, who? Uh, okay, or not. This come on, has got me riled up. Calm down, Captain. Don't want war. <laughs> You know what, you're right, Who? Uh, we came to prevent a war, not start one. I, I apologize for doubting you, Commander G's. Of, of course you didn't push her. I'm sorry too, Kake. I, I should not have allowed my emotions to get the better of me. Your officer has the right to conduct an investigation concerning the death of your crew, woman. What can we do to assure who we had nothing to do with this? Who satisfied? Now, are you sure who? I mean, you don't want to question them further? No. Who believe? No way to verify anyway. Uh, that's true. I guess we'll just have to take your word for it, Commander G's. I swear I had nothing to do with Richard's death. I'm, I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you, Captain Kake. The last thing we need to do is to begin open hostilities. <laughs> While our peoples may not always get along, I have found my interactions with them to be quite entertaining, especially with your crew. Glad that we could amuse you. Yes. The joke with the Earth bovine liquid was very amusing. Oh, you remember that, do you? Of course. I admit I was angry at first, but now it makes quite the anecdote at parties. Come on, yees, really? You tell people that you drank milk? Yes, Kake. Our people find disgusting, humiliating situations worthy of much laughter, indeed. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got me started just thinking about it. Ha! Very humorous. <laughs> yes. 
Uh, okay, well, so what do we do here, Yeez? Uh, you don't want a war, I don't want a war, both of our bosses want this planet. How can we come to some kind of compromise? Compromise? Yeah, compromise. Compromise. Yes. Um, well, I, I'm sorry, I do not know, Captain Kake. I have been instructed not to leave here until we gain control of this world. As have I. Then I guess we should set up an encampment, at least. <sighs> All right. You guys pitch your tents over there, and we'll pitch our tents over there. I, I do not understand this pitch a tent. Tent is shelter. Ah, we use yurts. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, are, are you serious? Yes. Uh, all right, then, uh... Pitch your yurt over yonder, and we'll get ours up, and, and then afterwards we can get some s'mores and a campfire and tell ghost stories. I look forward to that very much, whatever ghost stories may be. Ghosts are dead people. Come on, you must be kidding. That's so very morbid. Cuck to thrifty. Thrifty here. Beam down some camping supplies, Lieutenant Tokolati, and make sure to include a barrel of chocolate liqueur. Captain Ease and I will be drinking together tonight. Captain's Diary. It is a shame our people in the come on, stand on the brink of war. <coughs> My interactions with Captain Ease have been few, but interesting if nothing else. He seems like a decent enough fellow, a little stiff, but at least he likes to have a drink with me and doesn't seem bent on revenge or anything what that fully did to him. And geez, well, he's okay, I guess. I hope he isn't a killer. It has come to my attention that the crew thinks, in the words of Lieutenant Tokolati, that I am an ass. I must do something to change that. I can't have these people thinking of me as a rube. That's murder to a commanding officer. They must respect me. A note to self, sign up for an online sensitivity training course. I must regretfully add that Commander Richards, or Richardson, whatever her name is, has perished on the surface of Provo Kinsia IV. She was a good officer, I think. Uh, I guess I'll never really know, you know. Oh, well. Better radio Jameson for a replacement. Kake out. Commander G's reporting in. I think I have obtained what you were looking for. Here's an excerpt from Kake's diary, obtained by our hacker. Captain's diary. Our people in the command stand on the brink of war. Captain Yee seems like a stiff and an ass. He's a rube. I don't respect their commanding officer. He needs sensitivity training. Commander G's is a killer. Richards perished and it was murder. G's did it to her. I will have my revenge. I assume this is enough to get the war started as we hoped. I await further instructions. To be continued. So this is the tale of our noble crew. They're here for a long, long time. With phones and lights and hover cars. Really, all the luxuries. Unlike Robinson Crusoe, it's not primitive at all. Join us here next month, my friends to see if full-scale conflict has broken out on another universe journey. It's All Been Done Radio Hour number 30. Universe Journey number 7. March to War Part 1, The Barren World. Starred Nick Argenbright as Captain Kake. Wendy Parks as Commander Richards. Shane Stefanchik as Lieutenant Commander Meow Meow. Seamus Talty as Chief Engineer Foley. Katie Boisenault as Lieutenant Tokolati. Chase McCants as Lieutenant Hu Grappa. Amanda Iman as Dr. Ashucks. Keith Jackson as Admiral Jameson. Dan Kondo as Captain Yees. And Joe Morales as Commander Yees. As always, the episode was narrated by Chris Allen. Music was performed by the cast and composed by Nathan Haley and Jerome Wetzel. Please visit our website at itsallbeendonradiohour.com. Hey, Jimmy. Yeah? <laughs> I pulled up the wrong script. Give me one minute. Okay. <laughs> That's the no wrong problem. line. I'm like, no, this is right. By me, Captain. A Provocencia 4 is a deserted world at the edge of come on territory. <clears throat> deserted? Now, I know what you're thinking, and no, it is not a planet filled with desserts. Damn, <laughs> I really wanted cherry <laughs> pie. <laughs> so wait, there's nothing there? Do I have the wrong script, too, or is that just... No, no yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I like... They're all wrong, man, they're all wrong. <laughs>